Hello team, it's Rich here from Serious Cricket and today we're going to look at the Speed Buddy. We're going to review it, we're going to see if it's any good. To start with, it's going to come in a box. It's a Speed Buddy, it's coming in a box. What we want to do is find out how long it takes to set it up from the box down there. So to help us, what we've got is our timer. As soon as I hit the old start button, I'm going to get going. I'll talk you through it as I go through. Hopefully I've remembered how to do this. Okay, so we get our box. We've got two boxes. One, we have the ballon. So we need those, little red ones. Okay, so in we go. And lights, camera, action. Worked. Now, I'm probably as amazed as you are. I'll turn it off because that'll get a bit noisy. I'll come back over. Boom. And we stopped. <gasps> Getting emails all the time. So that's taken us six minutes, 40 odd seconds, 45 seconds to set up. Next little thought is what is actually on the machine and then we've got to find out how it works. So on the bits and pieces on the machine, we've got the two runners, uh, one going and basically they're going that way, squeezing the ball towards you, which again is very similar to a bowling machine that we've all seen. We've got a hopper, you feed the ball in. You are going to see this machine working in a moment and it has a little delay for you to look out for and we've got something quite special for you there when that does that works so on the top here you'll see we have two dials with h l and m and obviously the opposite to the other side so again that's low medium and high i get it's just the speed at which the the rollers and the runners are going around um, you can put some swing on it don't know if we can do spin on it but i think we can certainly do swing well, at least that's what it's giving, giving me a clue to say. And if you come around here, this little twisty turny bit <gasps> will allow you to change the height of the ball, so floating it closer, maybe for a spinner and, or for a slower bowler, and you could bowl some short balls with it. So it's got a bit more variation to it, um, so that little gizmo gives you the opportunity to do that. It is a bit plug and play and a bit robust, but I think it works, so that's pretty good. So that's what's on it. We now need to show you how it works in action and that funky little light that comes up. We'll get that going in a second. So here's the funky little thing and the red light that comes on. So I'm just going to fill, put all the balls in the hopper. And again, we're going to get a little delay as the ball comes out. But what you'll see as the machine gets turned on is you're going to see in a moment a wonderful little red light come on when that ball's ready to come out. Here she goes. There you go. OK, so it'll do exactly the same for the next ball. And at the very end, team, all that's going to happen is that red light will stay on. So basically saying, there are no balls left in the machine. Here we go, last one, just to have a little watch. Oh, the red light stays on. Okay, right, we have Chris with us. Um, he's normally found in the shop, but he's, uh, he's been allowed out, which is thank goodness for that, as he's our equipment manager and he actually got us these wonderful speed buddies. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the balls, we're going to put the machine on and I'm going to walk you through the little dials. So we've got, as we said, high, medium and low. So we're going to go st straight into the mediums, Chris, so that you can find out what it is. We are over 22 yards, everybody. So I think that's quite important to tell everybody that bit. Obviously, you can change the distance, but thought for a good test, 22 yards, see what it's like for maybe an, an adult cricketer. Anyway, I shall load up and then I shall hit the fire button. And as Chris knows, there's a little delay and then the balls will come out. So it shows you straight away that it's going to take a little bit of time to catch up to speed. And as we go through, it's fantastic. Now, what you'll notice is Nathan, our cameraman, is still here and he is still in the firing line. Okay, so that is medium. So what it looks like is it, you might need to let the runners get going first before you start putting the balls in. Because I reckon that's medium and that's, that's getting to Chris and he feels quite comfy. Chris, what, how are you feeling down there? Very comfortable. Oh. 
Ooh, maybe not right. so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whack it up. Sorry, I'm going to turn it down to low just to see what that's like. Please bear with us for a short commercial break. We are collecting balls. Well, whilst I'm picking up balls, you could be subscribing to our channel. We're looking for 15,000 subscribers. Okay, make sure you're the next one. Okay, we're back. Um, we're on low this time. I'm only going to put three in. I'm going to charge. Again, the runners have had a little while to go. Potentially, this one's not going to come out super I'm fast. Gonna, I'm going to charge you. Okay. Could go horribly wrong. Oh, he's chosen to run down the wicket. Very interesting. Quite a difference and change of speed there, isn't there? And I'm guessing the power of the motor there isn't that strong that it's been able to force it out at slower speed. I don't know. Anyway, let's go high. Oh, ho, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take off. Chris, this one gets a bit more interesting now. I'm slightly I think. worried at this point, Richard. I've got to oh, be honest. Oh, no. Don't be. It's been a while since I've had a bat. It's a controlled environment. Here we go. Just wondering. So let's see what high looks like. This is as... About as fast as this is going to go, I think. Ooh, bit of extra, a little bit of swing there. Did a bit. Yeah. Oh, now that has gone all the way. That's gone your 22 yards. Chris has missed well, it. Bowled. Obviously a quicker ball. Oh, well bowled, Rich. Well played. Okay. Now, so the next thing is, we're off to take another commercial break. We're collecting balls, but when we come back, we're going to swing the ball and see what happens. So at this point, Chris decides to do his shoelaces up. Really what he's saying is, he's in the zone here, ladies and gentlemen. He's marked out his guard and he's ready for round, round six or whatever this is. So I've got one on high, which I'm going to guess I'm going to leave the right one on high and put for this one, the one on the left to medium. Now I don't know, I am guessing, and I am pretty rubbish, so I guess, it, oh, that might be going the other way. Do you know what? I've decided to change my mind. I've gone the other way round, high on the left, medium on the right, I'm hoping that goes that way If round. he doesn't know where it's going, I've got no chance. He's got no confidence, has he? Here we go, little bit of in-swing, ladies and gents. Does it move, what happens? Oh, it did, it got him. It banana, so it has moved on a high and a medium. Oh, that's really exciting. Oh, that's gone miles down the leg side. So I can adjust the machine to show you what's going on here. Oh, look at that, beautiful work. So that's really good. So I'm gonna go down to a low now, just to see what that one looks like. So does it swing a little bit more, does it not? Oh, banana-tastic, really good. That has gone a little bit, hasn't it? That's gone quite a lot, yeah. actually. Now, obviously, if the ball can swing in, the ball can swing out. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get spin on it. I think at the moment it's just swing. It gives, gives you quite a little bit there, doesn't it? We do have some considerations that you need to think through when you purchase or buy this fantastic little bit of kit. So first thing we thought, we're indoors here and we're really lucky. Obviously, if you take this outdoors, the lighter balls are going to have a bit of an impact in the wind, or the wind will have an impact, out, outdoor conditions. So that's one to consider. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we can use tennis balls with this bit of kit, but of course, ladies and gentlemen, in the terms and conditions, do not use with cricket balls or hard bowling machine balls. So, that's a consideration, depending upon what type of practice you want from it. Cool. I think the other one really sort of big consideration is the surface. Yeah. So surface that you've got access to. Um, if that be a net surface outside, probably going to be very similar to this. But if you're thinking about potentially your, your back garden or an access to that type of surface, you need something to, that's going to get you that true bounce and that true representation so that you can practice in 
in good quality. So I think surface is one that you need to think through in Isn't particular it? to get that to get that quality practice. Patio, I thought. I think so. Something reasonable. that's going to give you a nice true bounce. Yeah. So yeah. school sports hall because you yes. might be able to take it to school. Might be cl local club nets. I think anything that's just not too soft. Yeah. You know, not too much grass, not too soft. A, a, a mowing outfield, I think you'd probably be all right, but yeah. one that the groundsman hasn't got to, you probably don't want to. Yeah, very good point, <laughs> very good point. a bit long. Um, the other thing is, very obviously, power source. You are going to need the ability to connect to power. So again, that might be a limiting factor. Some clubs do have little electrical points by their nets, some don't. Um, obviously, if you're at home, you're probably going to be able to have a, an extension cable that can reach out to the garden. So, you know, especially if you are somebody that, you know, mum and dad cuts the grass, you've probably got the ability to do that. Maybe we've gone cordless, who knows? But anyway, you're probably going to have an extension cable somewhere around now. So there are just a couple of little considerations that we'd, uh, we'd leave you with. To summarise, took us six minutes and 40 odd seconds to power it up get it out of the box, get it ready to go. So within seven, seven and a half minutes, you're gonna be up and running in your session. I think that's pretty quick. But first up, I've got to ask the most important question of night, really. We've got a nice bit of kit. We've got Chris stood here. He needs to give us an answer. Chris, I'm coming to the store. How much am I gonna be paying for my speed buddy? So currently we're gonna be selling this at 209.99. So just over 200 pounds. Okay. Um, but I think for the bit of kit, and having tested it and having seen it working, I think that's that's quite a good investment in terms of uh, a training aid that's going to get you a lot of opportunities to practice. I think so too. Okay, so let's go through a few little thoughts and and maybe what the difference is, of why we're going to spend that extra bit of money. It's going to go faster. You're over a greater distance, which is great. Which means you'll you also you can if to make it feel faster, you can come closer. So as a batter, I feel like. You don't have to spend £2,000 on a full hardball bowling machine if you are a decent little cricketer at, let's say, 7, 8, all the way through to 13, you're going to get quite a lot out of that. As a club, that's a really good investment because it's 200 quid. Now, people are probably going to be prepared to sponsor a junior section and say, here you go, I've got a bit of money, how can we help the kids out? That's a really good bit of kit to do it. So from coach's perspective, I think that's a decent bit of, decent bit of kit at a really good price point. Um, the other thing we, you've always got to keep thinking is it's pretty robust. Unless you start whacking hard balls at it, which of course you're not allowed to use because I told you in the terms and conditions, um, you're going to be all right here. And also the power pack. The only thing I'm going to say is it is a power pack. Now we've all had laptops and we've all got you know, computers, etc. And power packs do run out. You know, they don't work. But at the moment, that works for this bit of kit. Is it a bit of a limitation? It might be. But I think you can probably get another one of those. And I'm sure they're probably not a huge amount of money. So I think overall you get swing, you get quicker bowlers you get the opportunity to vary the distances on what you want out of it you can field with it I think we could do a little bit of catching little nicks we could do little nicks off the bat or we could do with them hit the catch it ramp so keepers and slip fielders could do a little bit of work I think it gives you some really good options very very similar to the main bowling machines you'd see from bowler at your local club but obviously a lot less of a cost so overall 200 quid, I think that's pretty decent ladies and gents, be interesting to see what you think. And of course it comes to that wonderful moment where we'd like you to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we've got loads of stuff coming. Do leave us a comment below, what did you think of it? We thought it was alright, didn't we? I think it's a really good bit of kit, yeah absolutely. Marvellous.